Right, we've got another DS light today. Um, not sure what's wrong with this one, so let's try and turn it on and find out. Well, the bottom screen flashes, so I think it's a top screen fault now. Over here, I have what says good screens and board buttons need a clean, but that's missing the board. Um, okay, so I'm going to take that on faith that it is. And I'm going to strip it down and retrieve the screen from it. And we're going to try that. Because there's no point using new ones if we have spare parts here. And I seem to have used the motherboard already. This is just like the, um, the white one i done the video of before where I changed the touchscreen. These have been sat in a box for some considerable time. As faulty ones come in, if I've not got one for sale of that colour already, they get fixed straight away. If there's one already up and listed, then they just go in the spares and repairs box, awaiting a day where they can get dealt with. And today appears to be that day. Now, that's mullered on there, so unfortunately that will not be good for another day. <laughs> Some of these pieces will be reusable. Some of them will just go straight in the bin. <laughs> Still suffering with this cold. I say suffering. It's more of an annoyance, to be honest. Look, I don't feel like the end of the world. I just, well, have a slightly deeper voice, a bit of a cough and the sniffles. But scuppers any plans for going anywhere or seeing or not anyone I may want to see because I don't want to give anyone a cold. Because despite popular opinion, I'm not that much of a arse. Top of that looks okay, so that can go in the spare parts box. This is knackered, so there's no point trying to get this out the easy way. Um, well, yeah, there is. Because it might be easier than getting it out. Sorry, there's, I was going to say there's no point getting this out the hard way. Getting this out the hard way might be easier than getting it out the easy way. <laughs> because it's a DS light, not a 3DS. Where on those, I would just chop the ends off. <laughs> right. Single ribbon cable. Roll it up. Straight through. There we go. Right, you can go there for a moment. Could be useful. Won't be useful. Right, now let's get this stripped down. As always, Nintendo love their mixture of tri-wing screws and Phillips head screws, so... We have one Phillips head screw holding the back plate down. Uh, we have two more Phillips head screws holding this back plate down. We have one Phillips screw here and another one under here, which are holding the motherboard in place. You can go over there. Then we retrieve the tri wing. That goes up the top 
bolt there. Another one, two, three try on screws. Well, that doesn't want to come out. Let's remove this from here. Oh. Come on, that's it. Well, if you don't want to come out, just poke you out. There you go. Right. Um, oh, where's the volume slider? There it is. The volume can go in there. L and R buttons. Let's get that other Phillips head screw over here. Keep everything in their little designated spaces. Now, off comes the wireless chip. This is stupidly annoying and fiddly, but not half as bad taking it out as it is going to be. <coughs> Excuse me, putting it back. Right. But you can have fun watching me try to do that shortly. If you're not already enjoying laughing at me trying to take it out now. Come on. There we go, one of those. One of those. Now, I'm gonna pop this board out, unhook that. Temporarily move this out of the way and attach this top screen just to confirm it is the problem. Where's the battery and the Wi Fi card? Because it won't post without that Wi Fi card plugged in. Put the battery in place and fingers crossed. Excellent. <laughs> Other thing to do slide a card in. Yeah, that touch screen's gonna need calibrating or doing something. Let's just tap our way through until we get to the main screen just to see if it reads a cartridge. Okay. Yep, that reads the game. Excellent. So that top screen is good, lovely. Put the board over here, put the screen out of the way and let's retrieve our pink frame. Now, I'm just gonna tape those into place so they don't fall out. I mean, I could just take them out, but I can't be bothered. This is apparently easier. According to me and my lazy brain.
Now, because this screen is knackered, you can just trim that off because it's going in the bin. And that will make life a little bit easier. We cut out of there. Ugh, no wonder that's mullered. Well, first things first, let's give that a clean. Ugh, disgusting. Looks a bit better. I'm going to get a new label because I believe that one has come to the end of its useful existence. And whilst we're there, so is this screen. Out you get. Now, that plastic is quite tasty and clean for a change. So, Where's our top screen? Annoyingly, so's that. I'm going to put this in a plastic bag. Um, or maybe not, we can't find it. Goodness sake. Right, change of plan. Peel this one off here. Pop it there for a sec. This one can go on it. And then I'm gonna give that a little um, post-it note in a second. But first things first, let's get this onto here. Get this in place and get it stuck on. Jolly good. Then it can come back out and we can put it in properly. Although saying that, let's give this a let's give this mid frame a, a clean up whilst the screen is out. Because it is quite grubby. Oh, now you want to be a nuisance. 
thanks very much. Don't be a nuisance, just get in the hole. Go on, in you go. That's the one. Now, have we got the little plastic things on? No, we'll have one for here. And you? No. Oh, where did the other one go? Well, I'll use this one instead. I'd be quite good at this if I wasn't uh, continually doing shit wrong. Right, a bit of a clean up on the hinge loading area. Open, yeah, try and hold. Give it a clean. Thank you. Now, this thing. Oh look, I've put tape on it so I can't clean the bits where I've put tape. You pleb. Oh well. I'll give it a bit of a clean now. And a bit more of a clean once it's more back together and I can remove the tape. So get these two cables through. screws back in. See, would it have been any different if I'd have just taken these out and put them back in rather than taping it up? What would have been easier? Let me know in the comments what you think. <laughs> have I just wasted time and effort sellotaping buttons down that I could have just taken out and put back? Da, 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 da. I've never understood why this one goes under the cartridge port connector slot thingy and that one has its own special little housing that it slides along so this can come back out this can infuriate me Please go in first time, please go in first time, please go in first time, please go in first time. Gee, you, you, I'll take that, that'll do. That's um, a lot easier than it normally goes. What was I saying? That's the first time I've tried.
trying to slide that back in whilst the PCB motherboard isn't in place. So this might be a one-off, or that may be the new best way to put that cable back in. I'll try it next time. And then there. Connected, get you connected, chuck a couple of screws in. Um, these two flathead screws, flathead Phillips screws, these two Phillips screws, and then we'll get it powered on just to <coughs> make sure it works. Battery. Excellent. Superstar. So let's uh, let's clean those side bits up that we missed. Thanks to my clever, not clever, could be clever, probably isn't sellotape of buttons. Yeah, that looks better. Let's give these a little once over. Because nobody wants someone else's grub on their portable handheld consoles. Remember, folks, wash your hands. this a clean you know we're in here we may as well make a reasonable effort at tidying it up Unfortunately, these do have a clear overlap and it gets grubby and yeah, I can clean it, but it stains from just, I don't know, general mank. And then you could put a new shell on, but they're never, they're never as good as the official ones and they're loose and the hinges wobble a bit, so... I don't. It's all original, unless obviously a screen or cartridge port needs changing, and I don't have one to take from a another system. Power, volume, good. Let's get some more screws in. One 
some more Phillips. Three of those, and the one for the cartridge slot. Get these screws back in for the top screen and the little covers back over them. I don't mind these ones for the um, DS Lite, they're, they're made up of half decent rubber with just sticky underneath. The ones on the 3DS are kind of made out of the rubber but a little bit thinner and have a separate sticky piece on and they tend to break when you take them off so to be a lot more careful. Right. Sims 2, get that powered up, dry this off, um, I need a stylus, I want to scratch anything. <laughs> that was it, we wanted to um, check the touch screen didn't we? Calibration, one for you, one for you, one in the middle, lovely. Try again. Oh, I don't like the look of that. Let's turn it off, on again. I think we're going back in. <laughs> um, Picto chat. Any old room. Yep. Well, this one's got a dead patch up in that corner. So. I'm not going to do that on here because I've already got a video of the touch screen up, but that was replacing the top screen. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day. See ya. Bye. I know I said I wasn't going to bother filming it, but I didn't bother to film that. I probably should have done. It's only taken about four minutes. So let's get this stuck on the front. Turned on. 
Oh, you're a prat, aren't you? Do you know what I've done? I've put the um, <laughs> I've put the touch screen in. Put a new touch screen in. I'll put the touch screen ribbon on. I forgot to connect the bottom screen ribbon. Like the actual data ribbon. I'm an idiot. I really am an actual idiot. I'm quite pleased I started the camera again now so you can see how much of an idiot I am. Third time we've opened this DS light. And let's just flick. Look, see? Mm. That needs to be plugged in to the motherboard. Otherwise, yeah, it's a bit obvious. Work, it will not. Oh, just do things properly, Michael. Now, before I screw everything together again for hopefully the last time, I'm going to make sure it works. Get off. On. Lovely. Let's have some more of that through here. No, you can go that side of there and sit around here. Oh, yeah. That's about right. I was hoping to make this a nice cheeky half hour. Well, I say cheeky half hour. I was hoping to make it like a nice 15 minute video. But clearly that's not happened. And then I thought, well, maybe half an hour, but that's not happened either. It's going to end up more like 40 minutes just to watch someone change a touchscreen. If you're still here watching this, you're dedicated to being, well, you must be fairly bored. and stuff is quite therapeutic it takes my mind off of the uh, day to day hassles of life I was going to test this before I did this. Was I? Oh, for God's sake. Two screws in, test it. Yes.
straight to calibration. It doesn't half want you to be. Try that again. That's better. Right. Back to peeling this off. Quick. Yeah. So, yeah, that was a top screen fix that then required a touch screen as well. So not quite as straightforward as I expected, but the job is done. That is another DS Lite saved from the bin. Obviously some of well, the parts have gone in the bin because they were knackered, but we've salvaged what all. Oh. If you take the battery out, you lose all your progress, but I haven't screwed this one in. And I can't leave it out. All screws must go back to their home. So, the next owner will have to set it up themselves, I'm afraid. another once over before getting that listed right there you have it another working 3ds thanks very much catch you later